Hey, what's up? I'm Tamter for Zoom and TV Games. I'm here with Melissa for Battleborn. Hi, how's E3 been for you? E3's been great. Uh, it's been really exciting. Uh, people are getting their hands on Battleborn's uh, story campaign, uh, A Small Slice, um, for the first time, and we're just uh, hearing a lot of great things. You know, we're walking around the hall and hearing people say, hey, you gotta go check out Battleborn. So uh, we're really, really, really proud. Yeah. So there's a total of 25 playable characters, all looking very different. How, how, how big of a challenge was it to come up with a, a cohesive um, reason for them to all be around in the same place? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Gearbox had this vision for um, a game where you had a sci-fi kind of space marine soldier uh, existing in the same uh, space as a four-armed goblin witch girl and then uh, along with a, you know a vampire looking samurai with huge red swords um, and on paper that does not make any sense why would anyone do that um, but uh, they had this vision and um, uh, giving uh, the player all these choices um, and all these characters to just fall in love with and, and really get to know um, so everything that they've done in terms of the art style that they have um, envisioned and the story has been in support of that and to make that uh, these things that don't make sense make sense. So, for instance, the story uh, is that in the universe, um, all the stars, and, uh, which represent solar systems, have been going out one by one. And uh, it's being done by this group called the Varelsi, and no one really knows what they're doing, but nobody can stop them. So, uh, you know, some of the populations, they're just being destroyed, but other um, species or creatures or people are, are able to flee their systems ahead of them going out. So they're converging, trying to find safe harbor, and now there's only one system left called Solus. And that explains why you're seeing all these different characters and why they look so different and, and have all these different abilities. And so they're actually fighting over the resources of, of Solus because that's all that's left and they all have different ideas of what should be done. But now the Varelsi are, are coming towards Solus and if they don't unite to stop them, the Varelsi will just completely destroy the universe. Jumping straight in, uh, I felt uh, there were a lot of similarities with Borderlands. The look and feel was great, uh, the humor. How much fun was that to, uh, to go, go even further? Because now you have like a broad selection of different races and everything, give them all different characteristics. Uh, how much fun was that? Uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, one of the things that I thought was um, was really cool about the development process of this was that Gearbox actually opened up uh, the pitch process for characters to the entire studio. Um, they even invited us over um, at 2K to contribute. Uh, and basically it was, hey, if you've got an idea for a character, let us know, write up a description, you know, here's some, uh, give us some ability ideas. And uh, if you were an artist, of course, you could be cooler and do concept art and yeah. everything. But, you know, people were just submitting a ton of stuff and uh, they've been going through and they've been picking out the strongest ones and starting to iterate. Um, and then, you know, the uh, the process of making these characters has actually been um, uh, pretty intensive. It's been taking a lot longer than um, normal because uh, the way that they're treating them is if each of these characters is, is the main character in a game that hasn't been released yet. That's how Gearbox describes it and it's totally true. Each one has its own unique skeleton, its own unique rig, nothing is shared, they have their own animations. So when we say they play differently, you will feel it because you'll play a character who is really fast and then you'll play Montana and he moves a lot slower. Um, and so you, you know, you can choose all these different characters um, based on their appearance or based on their play style that, uh, it, that is good for you. So for instance, I love playing Thorn. Um, she's the, the elf one with the, mm -hmm. the bow and arrow. Yeah. Um, so I love playing her, but I actually can't play her very well in multiplayer. So I actually have to choose uh, Caldarius, who's a little bit more um, your traditional uh, first-person shooter, competitive multiplayer character, um, in order to barely hold my own in competitive multiplayer. <laughs> So uh, let's talk about the difference between single player and uh, multiplayer. Um, the single player campaign is just uh, ma mainly the story. Mm -hmm. um, is it different every time because you uh, can select a different character? 
Uh, no, the, so the, the story campaign uh, is uh, is set and it's telling the story of, of you know what's happening in Solus and how they're trying to stop the Varelsi. Um, and then the difference uh, that you're experiencing is based on the character that you chose and, and because of their different abilities and play styles. Um, and so, uh, you know, uh, what you mentioned before where you've got um, a couple of different uh, gameplay modes to choose from, you've got your 25 characters um, uh, at the top, but then you can choose to play competitive multiplayer or uh, the full story campaign, it's fully fleshed out. If you play competitive multiplayer, uh, you have three different modes you can choose from, incursion, uh, devastation, and meltdown. Uh, if you choose to play through the story campaign, you can choose to play it uh, single player just by yourself with any one of the 25, or you can um, uh, start to play co-op with your friends and up to a party of five. Yeah. Okay, so when are you guys shipping this? Winter 2015 uh, for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Right. Nice. Thank you so much.